Okay, so this is going to be our solar thermal solar site assessment, and this is going to specifically look at the RET screen program. RET screen is a software program that is developed from the Department of Clean Energy and the Department of Natural Resources up in Canada and you have to download it and it runs within Microsoft Excel. So there's a few tricks to get to that point. I'm not wishing to get into that with this particular video. All I want to do at this point is just specifically get us into using RetScreen to make an educated analysis of our project that we are going to do a solar thermal site evaluation on. You're going to open up RET screen. You're going to get to this point very quickly. And let's create a new project. And let's just do one for the ease of argument's sake. And let's call this one Showborn Drive. This is a particular uh, location that I have done. It's a small apartment complex, but we're going to treat it as a process that we would use for just a typical home as well. So as you can see, we've got this going on prepared for apartment company that owns this particular place and it was prepared by me, Chris Miller. Alright, so there we go. Now we're going to have to choose a few types. Being a solar thermal, we're going to want to change this first one for project types to, let's go all the way down and give you all the options so you can see it, but we're going to talk about heating and that's what we want to do is just heating. And then we're going to do after that, we don't want a biomass, we're going to want to change this to a solar thermal, so that would be a solar water heater. Now there's two types of analysis that we can choose from, method one and method two. We are going to leave it on method one at the moment, but I'll show you what the differences are there as we get ahead of ourselves. And then we're going to talk and leave this the high heating value. This is the algorithms to reference on how they do it, but we're going to leave it as the high heating value. All right, now what we need to do is select the data for which we, we're going to extract our information from. So we're going to choose the United States here. We'll go to Illinois, and then we're going to choose, now I happen to live in Bloomington Normal, so let's choose the Central Illinois Regional Airport. And now it's going to change all of this data for me. Now. I particularly like Fahrenheit and feet, but that doesn't have to be that way. I'm going to convert these all over to, to values that make a little more sense to me. And I'm going to leave these in inches of mercury, wind speed, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, and Fahrenheit. So now I have measured at 32 feet. All right, there is the data that's going to be imported into this RET screen formula. So there's the first part of our RET screen. The first page, the start page, is going to provide us with a lot of the data. And So specifically, this is the data. If we were to look in the regional airport for us, where this apartment building is, it's no more than three to five miles away. So I'm pretty comfortable with the results that are coming up here. So this is the first part of RET screen that we need to do. 